Hello everyone, OpenAI Edge TTS is a text-to-speech open-source GitHub project you are able to install locally on your machines. It uses the OpenAI text-to-speech API endpoint format, allowing you to host your own local text-to-speech API data endpoint to connect with other apps. For example, I have OpenWebUI running for Olama language models hosted on my PC, and I have some other language models installed locally already on my machines here. In OpenWebUI, you're able to use the text-to-speech features for responding to your questions or chatting with your AI chatbot. In the admin settings, you click on audio, where you can use the OpenAI API endpoint or the Web API endpoint for your language model's text-to-speech features to be enabled. This project is able to host such an API endpoint using Microsoft Edge TTS to generate the text-to-speech for your content. We're going through how to install this locally. For the installation steps, we're going to install the code GitHub project using the Python setup. I'll do things a bit differently in this part for setting up virtual environments because I'm using Conda, where I've managed all the virtual environments using Conda with one centralized method on my local machines as well. First, we're going to use our command prompt in Windows and type git clone with this URL for downloading the project. Once it's done, we're going to the folder itself and right here we're going to start setting up the virtual environment for the OpenAI Edge text-to-speech API endpoint project. What I'm going to do is create a Conda virtual environment. Once it gets to this step, we press Y to continue our installations for the Conda virtual environment setup. I've just created it right here. We activate the project virtual environment itself and go in here. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Next step, we're going to use pip install to do the required component installations, all the necessary files that we need to install for this virtual environment. And basically, we're done with the installations here. The next step we're going to do is set up the environment variables configuration file. Lots of people have asked in previous videos that they don't know how to create this. Well, this is for the project, for Python projects that set up environment variables for the virtual environments and your GitHub project, running through some default values that you configure for your setup. Here, you basically just copy this. It's good enough. An API key isn't necessarily needed to be specified here because you're running the OpenAI endpoint on your local machines and it doesn't have such features to do so, so just leave it as default and it will be fine. As you can see, I just use a text editor. A very simple example is Notepad. Just paste those values here and save that into your folder of the OpenAI Edge TTS project. Here, it already has an environment example, but then we have to save our Notepad text file to here and save that to .env, and that's all you need to do to set up this file. When you save that Notepad text file, do not use .ext, just type .env and you're ready to go with this. The next step we're going to do is just run the Python app server and it will start the local API for your text-to-speech functions. Go back to your command prompt windows. As we have already set up the virtual environment for that, we just type Python app server dot pi and we're able to kickstart with this. Once you see this free Azure TTS replacement for OpenAI TTS API, that means the Microsoft Azure text-to-speech service is enabled on your local machine and it can be served as the OpenAI Edge TTS. Your server running link is going to be this one, the local host port number 5005, and your endpoint. The full URL of that API endpoint is this one. Let's go to OpenWebUI for Alama and see how we can configure this. Once we finish with the API endpoint installation, we should see the command prompt window popping up with this message. For example, we can use that in the text-to-speech features in OpenWebUI where we're using Olama-based models to run language models on local machines. For example, here I have Olama 3.2 installed. So how do you do the settings here? Go to the admin panel on the right-hand bottom of this part and click on the settings. Then go to the audio settings here and as you can see here there's a TTS setting where the text-to-speech engine connects the API endpoint and I have it already in here using the link that we have for the API endpoint. Remember to put the slash v1 at the end and the password here doesn't need any special treatment. Just type any text here is good enough.
it won't do any authentication at this API endpoint for local machines, and that is basically it for the configurations for using the API endpoint and come to here. So, for example, I have tested this example. That is a text-to-speech. So what you can do is click this record voice and just speak whatever you want, and it will translate from the text, then use that to communicate with the language models. For example, I can press this record voice. Hey, what is a call in stock trading? So just by then, it translates my voice to the text. That is another feature in this API endpoint that allows you to do that and communicate with the language models in this way. The other way of using the API endpoint, which you can use in coding if you are a programmer, you can use that to call using functions. For example, in the command prompt windows, you can paste this text where you use curl to call the API endpoint and pass your JSON format web request here, and it will generate the output speech MP3 files where you can basically use text-to-speech features running in this way to play back the text content in here, the input area. So basically, that is it for this video. Very simple, easy to configure and enable your local language models AI to speak with you. I will see you in the next videos and have a nice day. See ya!